What's good family? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Contax T2. I'm going to share some of my favorite things about the camera so far. Also some things that have annoyed me with it uh, and also some sample photos throughout the video. With that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing that I absolutely love about this camera is the feel and size of it. It has a very premium feel to it. It's pretty heavy when you have it in your hands. The material that it was made with, you can tell, was made with quality. But yeah, just by holding it, you can tell this camera can take a beating. I've already dropped this on a hardwood floor and it didn't leave a scratch on it. So that's not really something you have to worry about uh, with this camera. It definitely is well built. Uh, I also just love the size of it. And that is not something I am used to having medium format cameras. Those are not very portable. So this has kind of changed the game for me so far. Second thing that I absolutely love about this camera is the sharpness of the lens. So this camera was made with a f2.8 38 millimeter Carl Zeiss lens, which if you know anything about lenses, you'll know that any type of Carl Zeiss glass is gonna be very high quality. Uh, and it's no different in this camera. Uh, pretty much every image that I've gotten back uh, with this camera has been unbelievably sharp more sharp than I would have expected with the smaller negative uh, on the 35 millimeter camera. And I would say of all the things that justify someone buying this camera, it would have to be the lens itself because it really does take amazing images. And so if that's something that you want to use to justify the purchase and not have buyer's remorse, feel free to use that. The last thing that I really love about this camera is the flash on it. As someone who uses flash with their digital photography pretty often, Having this uh, on a film camera has been uh, a different experience, but a great experience. The flash on this tiny little camera is fantastic. It fills the room if you need it to. The portrait so far, it's never blown anybody out. Uh, always produced great images. And I would say that that's probably one of the biggest advantages this point and shoot camera has over other point and shoot cameras out on the market, at least to my knowledge. But with that being said, let's talk about my qualms with this tiny little camera. Now, this first one is a little complicated and it's about the deceptive aperture rate that this camera has. Now, if you're looking to get the Contax T2, probably one of the things that uh, caught your eye about it is that you do have an apparent amount of control with what aperture you can pick when shooting. But with this camera, there is a catch with that aperture ring that you should be aware of. Now, first off, and probably the most well-known issue with this is that you cannot choose to shoot an f2.8 with this camera. The camera will just decide to shoot an f2.8 if it requires uh, that aperture to get a well-exposed image. But the other thing that I found out about this camera is that at certain apertures outside of f2.8, there is a minimum shutter speed that this camera has to be at. And that minimum shutter speed is 200th of a second, which is very disappointing. So for example, if you want to shoot with this camera at f16 on a nice sunny day, and you're shooting with Portrait 800, more than likely that's not going to work. It's gonna show that the picture is gonna be overexposed, which at the end of the day, it's not the biggest issue. You just don't have as much control as you probably think you do. And I would say the best way to utilize the different apertures with this camera is to probably shoot with a low speed film like Kodak Portrait 100 or Kodak Color Plus 200. Anything in that range, you probably won't have to worry about overexposure because you're having to shoot at uh, 200th of a second. So there are ways around this, but what I've honestly found is that I pretty much just exclusively use this uh, in f2.8, which is auto mode, uh, and the camera will pretty much nail whatever uh, is in the frame. And the last thing that is kind of annoying with this camera, and I will say that this has not been a huge issue, but I have experienced it, is an occasional missed focus. Out of all 37 frames, I would say maybe one picture every couple of rolls this has happened to me thankfully i haven't had that issue too bad at all but i have experienced it here and there now if you are in the market for a context t2 i hope that this video kind of helped you uh, in your buyer's journey this has definitely just been one of those cameras that i would consider a dream camera and so getting it has been a great experience uh, it's definitely gotten me to go out and shoot more which at the end of the day i think when you are trying to decide on what camera you're wanting to get, just pick the one that doesn't break the bank and the one that gets you going outside more. But so far, this camera has produced absolutely amazing results uh, from what I've seen, and I can't wait to keep shooting with it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. 
I always appreciate it when you do. As always, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.